hello friends in this video i will give you some very useful tricks that you can use for uh, exploring aws services for free as you may already know that aws offers a free tier account which comes for free and you can use it for one year and uh, many of the major services are uh, already available for free for one year but what happens if your uh, one year period of free tier is ending or say you want to explore beyond the free tier so in case you want to explore beyond the free tier without worrying about uh, paying the aws bills at the end of the month so i will be sharing some useful tips for that so the thing is that aws keeps organizing these events every two three months every year so they call it the aws innovate sessions or the aws awesome day sessions or the AWS Builders series. And to know about these uh, events, you can follow AWS on their LinkedIn page. So this way you will be getting notified on uh, whenever these events are going to come, the upcoming events. So in case you don't have a free tier, the first step is that you should create a free tier account. Okay. And you can uh, look for details on what services are free and how much is the usage limit within the free tier. Now anything goes beyond this, you will have to pay for it. So that's the reason why having AWS credits, you can pay off all those bills using these AWS credits, which you can keep on accumulating by joining multiple sessions. So the best way is to follow AWS on their LinkedIn page. So this would be their LinkedIn page. And here, if you see, there are some upcoming events that are going to come. So today is 15 July actually just two days back there was one builders online series it just happened two days back and uh, so these kind of events keep happening every one month or every two three months these keep on happening uh, there are three main events so one is the builders online series this is the official page for that you can uh, i will share these links with you so that if even if you want to bookmark these links you can uh, bookmark it Otherwise, the LinkedIn page will anyways notify you whenever any upcoming event is going to come. Similarly, there is something called AWS Awesome Day Online Conferences. Right, so currently registration is closed, but whenever there is an upcoming event, so you can get notified. Similarly, they have this AWS Innovate Online Conferences. Right, so joining any of these sessions will give you 25 US dollars of AWS credits with a validity of uh, six months to one year. And you can use these credits to pay your AWS bills. I will show you how to apply these credits once you get this. And there is no limit on how many times you can join these events. So you can join any number of events. Uh, you can even join from multiple accounts if you want so that uh, you will get multiple uh, credits so every account will get 25 us dollars each which you can keep on collecting and uh, so once you attend these events so in order to be eligible for uh, getting the credits what you have to do is you have to watch five or more sessions that happen on the event day uh, if you don't watch five it's okay if you watch at least one so that you will get 25 dollars uh, credits if you can watch five or more on the same day then for the first time you can get an additional 25 us dollars so 25 plus 25 makes it 50 us dollars per event right but at least if you join and watch one session or one video and give the feedback for that video so when you join the event there will be multiple live videos taken by different uh, those sessions will be taken by different aws experts from around the world you have to watch those videos live on the event day and every video on the bottom right side there will be a feedback option so after the video ends you have to click on the feedback button and then provide the feedback While you provide the feedback, they will ask you for your uh, email address on which you want to receive your AWS credit. So you can fill up the feedback form and uh, within one month, you will get your AWS credit.
and the AWS credits will come in this way. So this is uh, one such AWS credit which I got after joining the Innovate sessions in uh, March 2023. So once you receive this promotion code, now obviously this won't work for you because I have already applied it to my AWS account. And if you see the validity is also good. So you can explore AWS services for more than one year with these 25 US dollars. And this is not just one. You can keep on collecting more 25 US dollar credits and uh, you can keep on adding it in your AWS account. But remember that there is no point in collecting a lot if you're not planning to explore AWS that much because ultimately these credits are going to expire after their validity period. So just make sure that you are collecting only what you need or maybe a little bit extra just in case you forget to turn off some servers and you run into some unexpected AWS bill. So you can be without fear if you have these credits in your account. So now I will show you how to apply these credits. So when you log into your AWS console, go to the billing dashboard, click on the credits. So as you can see, I have collected these many credits by joining various sessions and which I will be using in multiple uh, ways. So I will be creating multiple mini projects. I will freely explore on costly services which otherwise would uh, would not be part of the aws free tier so that gives us all the flexibility and we can explore aws services without fearing the bills so to add a new credit what you have to do is you have to click on redeem credit whatever promotion code that you have got in your email you have to paste it here enter the security code that you see here and uh, you, you can click on redeem credit and it will get added to your credits and you can also see what are the list of services that are covered in these credits generally it covers everything almost everything whatever you may explore it is all covered but in case you want to be sure about it you can just cross check from this list so you can create big ec2 instances you can you can do whatever you want to do without fearing about any bills mm -hmm.